left middle or right left left mm -hmm. <laughs> ah actor 100 hey guys this is sam welcome back to another episode of going out with sam if you've been watching my channel, you already know this is one of my favorite type of shoot. No specific theme, just me with a model or a friend going out, hanging out, exploring, and take some pictures. This time, we're going to the Getty Center. I have only been to the Getty Center once many years ago this is my first time taking photos here i was kind of nervous because i'm not sure about their photo policy they did check my bags that has three cameras in there luckily they didn't say anything but last time i was here i saw them stopping people from using a tripod and a bounce board and a flashlight so i didn't bring any of them the entry is free. You do need to make appointment online before arriving. And the parking costs $20. After the security check, you can take this really cute looking tram card to go up to the gallery. It was a Sunday afternoon. The car was packed with people. We were lucky enough to even have this corner to take these couple of pictures. I had a half roll of Cinesteel 800T in my Canon 1V, so we're gonna start with that. I personally really like the Cinesteel 800T, even during the daytime. I made a video before testing the film during the day. I will leave a link up at the corner, you can check it out. The 800 speed is very flexible for people like me who don't carry tripod with them all the time. I feel more comfortable shooting with this film. And I just love the blue color tone for my portraits. When I was shooting with this film, I would overexpose it a little so they don't look as greeny like this one. This one, I underexposed it. This is the level of grain it started to bother me. But I do like her smile. So I kept it. I really like how this film looks in bright sunlight. The skin tone is cooler and very desaturated, which I think is a unique look. Speaking of Cinestale, since I first tried the Cinestale 50D, I never got to shoot with this again. So today, the plan was to shoot two rolls of Cinestale 50D. I started with the 35mm. Cinestale 50D is a daylight balanced film with really fine grain. I was planning on trying it at 100 ISO instead of the box speed of 50, but I was too in the zone. I forgot. All right, next time. Next time we'll try it. I remember back the first time I shot with this film, I was quite impressed by the fine grain and high latitude. However, Maybe because I was just looking at the 800T photos, the warm tone and the signature pastel look from the 50D just doesn't feel right here.
know sometimes when your model is taller than you and but you want to have a better angle you have them stand a little, little shorter it's my secret weapon go shorter <laughs> All right, we came down to the car and uh, we changed a darker clothes. Later, we went back to the parking lot and grabbed this black coat and this red scarf. I felt this outfit suits the 50D's warm tone a little better. these two shots. It's the winter afternoon bathing in the warm sunlight kind of vibe. Looks really nice. And this is the last shot of the row. Alright, we are finally done with the roll of Cine Steel. 35. This row is done. All right, now it's time to bust out my recent most used camera, the Pentax 645N2, and shoot another roll of Cine Steel 50D. I've never shot this film in 120 format before, but I mean, they are the same film overall, just larger. Color and the contrast should be the same. The first thing I noticed are these scratching looking white lines crossing every single frame of this row. I scanned them twice, they still look the same, so I think it's in my negative. Later I shot two more rows with the same camera and nothing like this happened, so I, I have no idea what's going on. If you know what might cause this, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to know the possible reasons so I could avoid this in the future. Besides the scratches, I do like how these photos turned out. However, when shooting indoor at late afternoon, the 50 ISO is nearly impossible to shoot handheld. Both these two photos are taken at 1 15th of a second, and you can see in the behind the scene footage, we are surrounded by glass walls. There are still a lot of light, but still, 50 speed is very low. And then, two and a half row in, we still have some light left. It's the perfect time to start. Watch Sam run off the rail. Extra bonus program. Y'all here for that, right? Once again, I had the model to pick the next row to shoot. We have the Kodak Gold, the Cine Steel 800T, and the Acta 100. All right, left, no, actually, right, middle, left. Right, middle, left. Alright. Left. Left? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I would be nervous too. Alright. Ah, Acta 100. Alright, we're gonna shoot uh, another roll of Acta 100. It's getting late, so 
we better hurry because this is a 100 rated film. And she picked the actor 100. Great! Half an hour before sunset, we are shooting a 100 speed film. This is not a good idea. I have shot Acta 100 before. It can be tricky with portrait. You often see more magenta in the skin tone. It could look bad. <laughs> now you may wonder, if you already think this is a bad idea, why still shoot with it? I mean, at this point, I'm still learning and exploring. For example, the Act 100, I expected to turn out a certain way, and I already know it won't work one way, but it may work another. The light is super yellow right now. Oh my god, look at this. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to try? All right, you know what? I'm going to try it. The whole process is for me to make mental notes on the range and the limit of this film, or any film. It's experiment and study. It does not work. Here, at this location, at this time of the day, without a tripod and extra lighting. When the color is right, the shutter speed is too low. When the shutter speed is fine, the color is all over the place due to underexpose. Only a few of them turned out okay. The reason I do that is because I'm using such a low shutter speed and if I have something to lean on, I can be more steady. So that's, that's why I do that. And speaking of flushing more money down to the toilet, by the end of the day, we are looking at the sunset. I was like, oh my god, this looks so pretty. I have to shoot another roll. Like, Sam, just stop. There are not enough light for your shaky hand anymore. <laughs> we're no longer shooting behind the scene because we we need to shoot this so fast. Right now, I'm shot. Then I shot another roll of Cine Still 800T. Oh, this is so pretty! Oh my god! I can't help it. I just love City Steel 800T so much. I just want to keep shooting blue hours with this film. I got a problem. I just don't know when to stop. But now looking at these photos, I know if I had a tripod with me, these would be nice photos. I like the color, the composition, if only my camera is steady enough to make the shot sharp and clear. So you see, this is the practice. I waited for that shot for a very long time. There are always people like walking here, so we couldn't, I waited for a long time for it to clear, but we're done, finally. This is my way of learning and practicing photography. With Cinestill 800T, when I see a problem, I already know how to fix it, I know what's wrong with it, I know what I like and not like about it, I know when do I want to use it. But for example, with Acta 100, I still haven't figured out how to make it look quote-unquote right. We're done today, and uh, it's already dark. So the experiment will go on, but this video will not. This video will just end here. And this is Sam. I will see you <laughs> next time. Bye.